wrestling prospectus. So what is wrestling prospectus? I took the name from the baseball prospectus website, <laughs> which is, uh, you know, sort of looking at baseball from the perspective of like the young talent and who, you know, who, who's in the farm system and such. So we're going to do that with somebody who caught my eye and I wanted to learn a little bit more about Javon Evans in NXT. Uh, he had a little tete-a-tete with uh, Sean Spears on NXT. And I'm really, I just, I, I watch this guy and I'm like, he looks cool. He talks cool. He's got crazy bounce in his legs. Like he's like, <laughs> jump, like very 20 year old, 20 year old bounce in those legs, man. Shoot. But just athletic wise, like he's just got yeah. tremendous athleticism to him. And I reached out to a couple people who I was interested in their thoughts on him as well. So I'll read their uh, th their little blurbs back. But I was interested in what you thought about this guy. Oh, he's a super athletic kid. He's young. He has a really cool charm about him. Yeah. I, t I texted you about this. Or we were talking about a little bit this earlier. Just a cool, fun charm. The innocence, right, comes off him. And I think that really connects him to the audience. Uh, tall and lanky, young, so you can definitely add a lot of muscle to that frame over the next few years. But I want to see him. Right now, the innocence, the young the young innocence is, works great for him. But I, I, I think, you know, as time goes, he'll grow and be a little more serious. And I think he's... If it goes well, he could be a future guy, I think. So know? that's that was gonna be my next question to you is like what what do you think the ceiling could be? The industry in of itself is way more athletic and into crazy moves, and we see that even in main event WWE matches these days where we wouldn't have as much, you know, 10 years ago. And so as the business evolves, as he evolves. He he, the, it might be great for him, but I was like trying to think of, you know, what who working today or you know working recently in the last few years, hmm. who who could be that person that he would go? Okay, that is kind of the model of what of you know who is Sean Michaels looking at mm -hmm. going like, let's try to model him after X. I mean. It could be someone like Osprey from an athleticism standpoint, but he's not going to have the international experience of a Will Osprey. It could be Shawn Michaels himself, especially as you know, as both heel and babes. I've ever seen an old, a, a, not old match, well, it's a couple years old now, I think, of him on a Northern California indie, and he was a heel actually. I thought oh, he wow. was. He had a little attitude about him, so I think he could do both eventually. But I think he's best suited for a baby face. Um, I think, you know, Bayface Sean, 90, 90, 95, Sean, you know, 94, 95, Sean might, uh, or actually 95, Sean might work, you know, for him to watch. Cause he, yes, athlete, but he has to put the character, mm -hmm. you know, and, you know, make that stuff mean something. And I think that's what there, he's learning there and, and shit, he's only 20 years old. So <laughs> sky's the limit for him, I think. I right, asked uh, our good friend Paul Fontaine because he watches a lot of that NXT level up stuff. And he was the one who's actually telling me about him before I even really saw him on NXT television. So Paul said his wrestling is fantastic, which is going to help him no matter what. But what really sets him apart is his natural charisma, unlike anything I've seen. In some ways, it's similar to Will Ospreay and how he establishes a connection to people. It can't be taught. And my hope is that WWE doesn't find a way to screw it up. I also asked uh, our friend Sam Shipman from the Power Bombshell. She also writes. She she she's the one who kind of keeps Tony Khan in check on uh, on these press conferences. <laughs> uh, she said uh, he was known as Jay Malachi when she had saw him, uh, and I think she said he was like fifteen or something. Let, let, let me read her thing. He started on the PWX Pure shows, which focused on up and coming talent. He wrestled with his tag team partner Jackson Drake as the young prodigies. It was obviously it was obvious how good he was at 15. 
He eventually moved up to the main card and wrestled a few times. I saw him a couple times in DPW. That's where he seemed to really come into his own. He was their world champion when he signed to WWE. So the idea that what NXT to me should be or can be at its best is like someone like him where you really get to see the evolution of his character from being 20 years old and, you know, hopefully he doesn't, he's not in NXT for like five years. You know, if he's a, if he is a true prodigy, you know, maybe he's here for a year and a half or two years and then he's boom, he's ready. Uh, but it is, you know, NXT I think is at its best when you can kind of gr grow with this, with the, with the talent and just see them like Roxanne is a, is a perfect one, right? Like today Roxanne could probably walk into WWE and be totally fine. Uh, but I think they're giving her opportunities to do different stuff so that when she does go to the main roster, she's not going to be surprised at things that they throw at her. She's going to be well-versed in all aspects uh, of wrestling. And so I, this, that's, this is what I'm excited uh, about, uh, Javon, is just to be able to see him at the young age, to see him grow. At what point does... You know, he become, uh, you know, in in uh, a contender for one of the other belts and, you know, that kind of stuff. And then you just yeah. get to naturally grow and then eventually make it to the main roster, which will be great if that happens. I just hope maturity is in this young. I think, you know, I think it's a big risk to sign a kid at 19 for WWE, I think. Yeah. The maturity factor. But they must see that in him. And then and, and uh, so let's hope he has that and continue. And is this like the, on. The, the Sammy Guevara worry a little bit there? Sammy Guevara. I mean, Velveteen Dream, you know, like Velveteen that Dream. kind of stuff. You know, the people st stardom can get to you and a lot of mistakes could be made. So but uh, like you, very excited for him. So look, look forward to his career.